canal. It's ready. Welcome to the Big Gill Show. Welcome to Big Gill Show. This is Michael Gill Crash Show. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm out here on this rainy day. Um, y'all see, I got their bugs, their pods in. I came here. It's a different parking lot because it's raining. Because they got the little overhang that wraps around the whole building. And I walked there and it took me 13 minutes to go there and then back around. Now to get two hours in, oh man. It's gonna be 20 times doing that. So I got tired of that. So in between the breaks when it's not raining, I think I'll walk over here. Cause I really never, visit this part although I lived here for 10-15 years not this stint I've been here 7 years this stint but I lived out here back in the 80's and 90's and they have grown it up you know a lot of these shops none of this was here this used to be woods actually only thing was here was that food line and it used to be a drug store there and Taste of China and some stuff, but most of this stuff used to be empty. But it's growing, so plus I got tired of just walking <laughs> there. <sighs> so I'm out here getting it in on day seven. Cloudy, raining. It's supposed to be rain this whole week, so no matter. I gotta figure out a way to get it in. The other parking lot I used to walk work walk at Kroger. They got a longer section. It takes me, well, two minutes longer, 15 minutes to go down and back there. I figured this would be better because it wraps around the building. I just thought it would be longer than this. You know, it always seemed longer when you're driving, but it's not. Even though Kroger is just one side down and back, I figured this would be better. That's why I don't like walking tracks. I don't like repetitive. And I say that, but I get in the parking lot like I did Kroger and walk up and down. I guess I just don't like circles. <laughs> because I don't know what I'm going to do for another hour and 40 minutes. I'm already bored. And I still got a long time. I wish... It's not raining now, so it's not forcing me to go under here. Which pisses me off because I would be on the sidewalk somewhere walking. Interesting. Parking lots are not really interesting, even though I have a vivid imagination. <laughs> That's the thing about me. My mind takes me. You know why I'm talking to y'all, my pods don't play. I wish they did, because I could still be jamming. But, um, no, they go off. Unless I bring another phone with me. A video on that. Or just break down and get me a real camera and stop using my phone to do YouTube. Not going to happen. Not right now, anyway. I ain't. YouTube ain't making me no money to do all that. This is fine right now. So, I'm in a crowded park. Well, not crowded. I'm in the parking lot where people ain't used to people exercising. They looking at me like I'm crazy, but I'm Gil. Who gonna say something? I don't worry about that. They'll get over it. I got my baby sitting there. Just sitting there wondering like, where in the world you got us at now? Hey man, I see stuff when I'm out and about. And I said, it's gonna be my rainy day place. And it was raining all morning. And it was raining when I first got here, but now it's not. 
And I'm scared if I break off and do what I want to do, it's going to uh, start raining as soon as I do it. That's usually how it happens. So I stay here, put it in. It's only an hour and some change. I figure out something. And then it'll be worth it if it start raining. And I'll be like, whoo. See, I'm glad I did that. That's what it's all about. All right. Haven't gotten on the scale yet. Because I had stuff to do this morning. Then I got a phone call and I was like, well, as I get finished doing that, I just go straight to walking. So I get on it later. Thought that was a snake. And it was a stick. And y'all might say, a snake in February. Hey, man, it's 70 degrees. Who knows what? Y'all keep on doubting this global warming stuff. <laughs> keep on doubting it if you want to. That's on you. Then, uh, what's the day? Tuesday. Friday is supposed to be 25 degrees. Friday, no, Saturday morning. 25 degrees. <sighs> boy, I tell you, boy. <laughs> it don't know what it want to be. So that's what I'm doing. Just out here walking. Getting it in. Wind blowing, but when it's 70 degrees, the wind feels good. People out here trading babies, I don't know. You know, you meet people in the parking lot to make the baby swap. Or McDonald's, I don't know if that's divorce or friends or what. I just know it was a baby swap. <laughs> I'm kind of waiting to see y'all got a liberty tax where y'all be at and they put the people out there with the Statue of Liberty cartoon, costume standing out there twirling the signs and daggone um, Uncle Sam I'm trying to wait to see if that person gonna come out of there cause they always standing out there doing it and I was like, hey, I might get to see when the person come out of the building today <laughs> and go up there and dance and point everybody down this way. I wonder how much they make a day. Because I see them, they be having ear pods and jamming. Some people be up there dancing, getting it. Some people just be standing there. That's how I would be. Man, if I had to stand there and make that money, I'd be up there twirling. <laughs> they would be like, look at that one hundred right there. I'd be on the news. They'd be like, the happiest Liberty tax man in Raleigh. <laughs> I'd be up that boy throwing the sign up. And you know it's going to hit the ground. I'd bring the sign back all broken. I'd be like, what happened? I'd say, hey, man, entertainment costs, man. It costs. Y'all want me to entertain them. Get them in here. I'd be like, how many people y'all get? Oh, we broke records. All right. Give me a new sign tomorrow. See y'all. <laughs> oh. oh. But the most important thing, the main part of this vlog, hey, I'm still getting it in. Rain, sleet, snow. If it do all that, though, I'll probably go in the gym. <laughs> That's why I got a membership. And I probably should do that today. I just don't. I don't. I don't want to. I like being out here. In the elements. Earth. Wind. Fire. Water. Wood. Gold. Y'all know it's got me thinking of a karate movie now. Five elements. That was a good karate movie, boy. If y'all ain't seen it, y'all need to get up on that Black Belt Theater. Must had to fight wood. The mother's coming out the trees. They ain't even know you backing up in the daggone tree gravity. 
that earth, of course, the mud just popping up out the ground. You trying to fight. You fighting them. Yeah, ching, 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 ching. Then it just poof, dust in the air. And you looking around. Next thing you know, sword come out the ground. You start flying. Swords coming out the ground. The mud's in the earth. And of course, water. The man, they fighting in water. They got the little straw. And they underwater. And you sitting there on the bridge. <laughs> then fire. That was kind of stupid, the fire one. Because all the dude had was a sword that was on fire. You know, they really want all that. And they could throw fire. But they got beat easy. But gold, it was kind of stupid too. Because all he was, was the sun was so bright. And all that gold was on them. They would be blinding the people. So then they went back to their training when they fought with the eyes closed and killed the gold people. I think earth and wood was better. Wind, all they can't do was float through the wind. Flying on the wind, that was kind of dope too. But the earth and wood where they could hide was the dope one. <laughs> I get, y'all know I'm a karate buff. Look! <laughs> oh, I guess I'm trying to make Make it interesting out here, bored. I feel a couple of drops, but it ain't raining like it was earlier. Now, what's going to piss me off? If I get this two hours in and it don't rain, and I could have went to my park. Because after walking yesterday, I noticed I could have I could have did my um, trails. I could have did the park, man. I ain't had to stay on flat surfaces. I was fine. Like I said, I guess the issues with the refeed is over you know stuff ain't running <laughs> but it's starting to drip a little bit y'all see the pond the little water y'all see the splots in it so i guess this is good because it's about to pick up so i guess i'm i'm justified staying here because i get back i get back under here and walk this for, I guess another hour and 28 minutes. I've been talking to y'all for 12. See, I stay under here. And it goes all the way around the building, wraps around, ends up at the laundromat, comes back around to the food line. Take me 13 minutes. So, starting to rain. Thank God I'm justified, because this is boring. <laughs> But hey, it's all part of the sacrifice. What I always say, it's hard, but it's fair. When the going get tough, the tough get going. Somebody got to do it. Might as well be us. Let's go, go Gadget, get him. Think about go, go Gadget, he had everything. Go, go Gadget, skates. Go, go Gadget, copter. Go, go Gadget, scissors. Whatever he wanted, he had. I think if you had some go-go gadget get -ems. that means whatever you want to go get, go-go gadget get them, you be racing. And you be like, oh man, I'm losing. I got to get them. Go-go gadget get them. And you walk them down. Shoom! So with this exercise, go-go gadget get them mean we going to go-go gadget get it. Just an extra boost. It's a mind thing. I'm trying to teach y'all. I'm just trying to help you. Help me, please, help me. Help me, please. I'm just trying to educate you. Help y'all with y'all education. All right, I don't wanna be getting too close to the food line. I ain't going in there to buy nothing. Now, who is this? People always rolling up on the brother. No, you don't supposed to park there at a fire lane. Tow truck come and get you. You gonna be mad. Plank people roll up on me. Gear don't play that. <laughs> Rolling up on gear. You know, ain't crazy. All right. Oh, he work here. He checking the trash cans. 
you must got the contract. That's another thing I see a lot of doing this early morning walking. The people that got the contracts to like clean these parking lots and stuff. They come like two, three, four in the morning. That's a good contract. I wouldn't mind. I know they make some money. I wouldn't mind a couple of them contracts. Something like this, a small strip mall. And I just come and empty out the garbage that's outside. All these cans out here. I just come and knock them out. Be rather easy. And what's she doing? Another one. They don't do like it used to be back in the 80s and 90s. In the 80s and 90s, it used to be a tow man somewhere sitting way back somewhere waiting for people to do this. And as soon as you go in that door, he come and get you. Even if he don't take you, he would at least come. And, um, Lord, what they doing? Oh, they out here smoking. They would at least come. They would come and, um, no, that's just Mike. Um, Snatch them up. That's how he did. What's up, yeah, ladies? I don't fish when I, when how y'all? At all, because that's taking away from my damn tip. Y'all gonna tow truck or come and snatch them up quick. They at the little casinos. Out taking them a smoke break. Giving them people their money. North Carolina don't have real casinos, so they have these little oh, internet stores. It's robbing people. People go to them. I went in that mug before and said, what the hell? Because I guess I'm no casinos. I'm like, this ain't no motherfucking casino. Y'all giving y'all money to these people. Lady, why are you staring at me? <laughs> get, get to walking. Boy. <laughs> y'all got to excuse me. I'm from the hood. We kind of don't play that. What? Fuck you, just say something. Say hello or something. Just don't stare. <laughs> I'm 48, y'all. I got to get that stuff behind me. But anyway, people, man, I went in there and I won $500. I ain't been back because I'm a stickler for not giving people their money back. I said, oh, I'm done with this. And that was 2015. I won that 500 Ain't no way. I'm going to see people do that all day. Win and give it back. Is you crazy? The whole point is winning. I don't even think it's raining no more. <laughs> it was just a little shower. But I'm walking around this side. You know what? I ain't been over there. I used to stay across the street over there. That's where I used to live. Back in the 90s, my um, second apartment. That's where I lived when I moved out here. And I haven't been over here since they, uh, they remodeled it. And since I'm out here trying to find something to do, trying to create time, I guess I'll go visit the old place. I ain't going to take y'all with me because it's already 17 minutes. And I know my videos be long. So... Look, thank y'all for watching. Love y'all. Peace. I just needed to vent. Thank y'all for the time. Help me. At least we got almost 20 minutes, 18 minutes out the way. That was quick. I might do another video. So if y'all see two or three videos in this area with this green shirt on, well, that don't mean nothing because y'all know me. I wear this shirt tomorrow, the next day when I'm working out. I ain't gonna front. I will wear the same daggone stuff. But I got that old saying, old wise man told a chick one day. I said chick because, you know, this is back in the um, 90s. They said chick back then. She was getting on him. And why you wear the same wife beater and shorts every day? And looked at her and said, chick i own a washer and a dryer and just walked off and everybody at ups we just dropped the mic with him like oh he got her he got her because i said it you know i'm the supervisor you know people you know talk and we have a policy there about hygiene 
and yeah, that was and that was a terrible conversation to have with people. You gotta tell them that they stink. But that's that's what they when they sign the paperwork, we talk about hygiene. And I had to have that conversation several times. But um I told them when they used to complain. I said, you it don't never stink. Do you smell them? He might wear the same thing. So that's what I tell people. I own a washer and a dryer. And as soon as I get out here, it start raining. <laughs> Boy, it better not be no hard rain. I done left the daggone, the comfort of that. Trying to go see the old homestead. They redone all this too. That's the new police department out here. They um, got it gated in. Oh, it's starting to pick up. Let me take my ass up back up here. I'll go see all that later. But hey, man. Like I said, if y'all see more videos, look at my camera fogging up. It's daggone water, and this damn case waterproof. <laughs> uh, that don't mean it's the same day. I might might be tomorrow, but it might be today. Shoot, I don't hide nothing. I'll let y'all. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Gill Show. Welcome to Big Gill Show. This is Michael Gilchrist Show. Holla back at the Big Gill Show.